What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be installing um, WSA through terminal commands inside of Windows for the one reason is because we want to have the Google Play Store working right out of the box. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna documents and did I put it in documents? I did, it's right here. So in the description, you're gonna have a link to download this. And you'll also find a link to download the ADB setup and you're gonna install it system wide. And once you have that installed, what we're going to do, we're going to right click and open Windows Terminal as administrator. Then we're going to CD into this location by typing CD, copying this up here. So if you click this and you hit copy like that, you can pretty much enter into this location. And then to install it, we're going to type Da, uh, dot dash install dot ps1 the installation will do everything it needs to install the virtual platform module which will handle the virtual machine and then you just reboot once that's done you should have wsa installed just like this now the reason we're using a modified version is to have the google play store and it's a lot better than the uh, Amazon Marketplace, and it's not restricted, so it's pretty simple. Now, we're going to connect this machine using ADB, so we're going to copy the IP address that's right here, and we're going to go and do this, ADB. There we go. Next, we're going to type ADB shell, and we're going to type su, and we're pretty much going to be entering a set command it's whoever works are you not going to let me get into sue whatever we're going to do do set in force to zero and doing that will allow you to gain access uh to the google play store and be able to sign in now you want to set your gpu for android to your most powerful graphics card for a reason that will allow you to render apps a lot better so when we jump into the play store as you can see, we have access to pretty much everything. You are going to be restricted to some things, like I can't install Apple Music this way or other stuff, but what I can do is I can sideload them. And once again, if I go and open up Terminal, and I'm just going to open it up like this, we're going to do ADB connect, and then paste that in there. And so we're going to type ADB. And then we're going to do, what is it, dash R. And you're going to grab the app name. So um, we would need to put an app in this location, but instead we're going to go to CD, downloads, ADB, like that, dash R. And we're going to grab an Apple Music APK. So Apple Music APK. Okay. We're going to grab the newest one. So apparently you're in 3.9 beta is the newest. Uh, this is a universal architecture. Mm, let's grab the no download. Yes, let me download. Where's the button? Verified and safe to install. Okay, if it's so safe to install, give me the download. Is this one of those things where it's just not going to let me do it? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's go back. See all available downloads. I'm going to grab the first one. Ah, I can see what's going on. All right. No DPI one. It's got to do this stupid line there. Ugh, I hate when it does things like this. So I download. And there it goes. So we're just going to rename this because I don't think there's tab to autocomplete. Uh, we're going to try to rename this if we can. Or let's just do um, dot apple dot android dot music. 
So I guess it had to do with the fact that the name was stupidly long and complicated. So we're just going to call this apple.apk. There we go. It's the silly little things that make the world go round, huh? And once that's done, it's right there. And Apple Music will just start up and you can hit agree and do whatever you need to do. Agree, continue, and whatever. Don't send. Doesn't matter, I guess. And that's it. You log in and you're good to go. So that is how to set up everything with WSA. That's how to sideload apps. That's how to use the Google Play Store. Uh, the reason I use this image is because everything just comes completely done and all ready to go. Hopefully, if you follow the instructions close enough, you'll have no issues with any of this. It's very simple and easy to follow, and it really doesn't take no time at all. So you can sideload and do whatever you want, whatever you need to. What I want to do now is see if I can update it to the newest. Now, apparently updating is as simple as downloading the brand, the newest package, and just installing it normally, and it won't wipe your data. So that's pretty convenient and easy to do. You just got to redo what you already did uh, every time there's a major update. Anyway, I figured I'd do this video because the Linus Tap Tips uh, video did not cover pretty much anything that really was important. They have a tendency to skip over all the important bits and all the bits that lead you to have the best experience. In the end, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share, do all that cool stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.